Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. Yeah, there's a meal. Here we go, it's Peach. Do you mind you? Um, on your way to, you know, rescue me and all, could you kind of pick up some carrots from the store? I gotta make some carrot cake and I'll, I'll pay you in advance with some one-ups. Um, I'll, I'll ask the bunnies about that. Alright, so... So... <laughs> This is something stupid. Check this. Well, I was gonna say check this out. Uh, where is? Yeah, Chompworks Galaxy was here, right? 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 Well, Chompworks. Yeah. There's. There's. How did I forget to do? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, let's just do it, shall we? <laughs> spring into the Chompworks. We're gonna have the. The spring mushroom power up this time to show us the way, and it's it's pretty tricky to control, but I'll do my best to explain it. And oh, so shiny, 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 shiny. oh, we missed it. Ooh, Luigi, Luigi, yes, I am. Sure. <laughs> Voila, and now. We're off. I get to collect those star bits once again. What do you have to say? Spring into it. Nothing else to say besides that? Well, okay. What? Spring Luigi! Ooh, it's kind of rhythm based. You just go woo and you hit the floor and you go super high. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah! <laughs> And if you should take some sort of hit along the way, well, you can say goodbye to your power-up. Am I gonna get pushed off the- oh, okay, I was gonna say, am I gonna get pushed off the edge while I do this demonstration? Maybe, maybe, but yeah, that's basically just the whole idea of the, the spring-a-ding there. It's just, you know, that's like a tutorial-type area of sorts, that you're not really redoing the beginning, it's just a nice open area for you to play around in. Where, where's my platform, Fiori? What? What the heck? Well, I gotta get past this, so I'm gonna have to spring over these suckers. Well, really, I probably don't have to. I could probably just do it with backflips, but, well, this works just fine. <laughs> so, yeah, whenever you see yourself hit the ground, just press the A button for a super high jump of victory. Oh, man, I, I would like to... I'd like to chat with you here, so I'm gonna have to take a hit somewhere. <laughs> come, come on, I know, I know this is tricky to control, but I gotta gotta take a hit somewhere. Oh, come on! <laughs> Maybe I should just jump in the lava and then backflip. I mean, yeah, backflip to get out of here. There we go! <laughs> oh, yeah! Now I get it! <laughs> He's into the chomp. Destruction spirit, baby. <laughs> this is actually a pretty dangerous little little segment here, if you think about it. When you're at one light, oh, Pac-Man Star Ritz! Well, actually, no, not really. It was a chain chop, but still, but still. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what we're gonna have to climb over here. Could it be that whole tower we got a preview of at the start? Yeah. There's some actually moving. <laughs> moving platforms too in the form of like I guess they're nuts like like what is oh well I wanted to show you like gotta get that one up but it's a little bit too tricky to do so especially when you're bouncing off the walls literally like if you hit into the wall you're just gonna kind of kick off of it automatically and uh, mm. <laughs> I think you get the idea on how to get that one up but it's probably one of the trickier one ups to actually manage well, actually, maybe I could jump jump at it from up above. That would probably be the better idea if I really wanted to make things easier on myself. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I'm not sure how worth it is getting those coins just for a one-up. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I guess you could just jump down on it from over here. That's a lot easier, so... Yeah, maybe you don't have to do it from the lower area. I just guess I never thought about that before on prior playthroughs. And I can already hear the star twinkling up above. Woo! I'm, I'm stuck. I'm... Uh-oh. I'm... 
<laughs> See, there's a thing with the, the spring-a-ding, is that- Oh, jeez! Is that your momentum dictates a whole lot of your, uh, movements and stuff like that? So, yeah, like, when you're in the air, there really isn't a lot you can do to steer yourself where you want to go. That's probably why this is such a short section, because it's very easy to not only get up there quickly, but also to fall off of here quickly. Let's do this for realsies now, hopefully. There we go. <laughs> what was that? The Paragoomba doing over on the left side there? Like, is it there to partially break your fall or something? It's not like it's in your way or anything. <laughs> and the first time we get the spring-a-ding, it gets added to the Museum of Power-Ups for some reason. Unlike the Fire Flower or various other power-ups that we've come across. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is, um, uh, spring, huh? So you wear that? Does it make a big boing sound when you poke it? <laughs> okay. I'm glad I got that out of my system. <laughs> Alright, please, please don't give me mail toad. We're not resuming from a save file. Okay. <laughs> Now, um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that's, we still need a comet to pop in over there, but I'm, yeah, this is all cleared up to that point. So I think, I think I'm actually gonna clear out these dealy dealios here at Space Storm Galaxy, and then over at Bowser Jr.'s, and I hope to Arceus it's not a daredevil on the boss. I'm pretty sure it is, though, but we'll, we'll tackle that when the time comes. Follow me, Baba. Um, remix. <laughs> We're looking for a Guillermo somewhere in here, which I completely forgot the location of, so that'll be fun. <laughs> oh, man, we don't get the Bluey Base Galaxy music, though. Man. Man. That is just pure disappointment. Pure, pure disappointment. I mean, this is okay music, but in comparison to Bowie Bass, it's like, man, man. <laughs> like, Bowie Bass, it just. It's like the symbolism of the whole game's space themed epic adventure platforming. This is just kind of like spooky space themed area with lightning. <laughs> and waiting. And waiting, it's... Yeah, I know, I know, I shouldn't compare music, but... Come on, it's Bowie Base Galaxy's music. It's hard to beat that. <laughs> if only... Oh, jeez, I messed up that a little bit. Well, that should be fine, actually. Oh, 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 oh! It wasn't fine. It wasn't fine at all. Platform should be coming back now. There we go. <laughs> That worked out okay. Yeah, that's what a Comet Metal looks like when you don't... I mean, when you've already collected it, by the way. I mentioned that before, it's, it's transparent, but... I don't think I ever got to a point in the walkthrough where... I was actually able to show one that was, you know, transparent. Because they're always out of the way or something like that when I re replay a level or whatnot. <laughs> okay, okay. So... Wait, maybe this was the one that had the Guillermo... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around in a full circle here and uh, have a good time looking for said Guillermo. Ah, maybe it's not here. You can go into the black hole, I suppose. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing any Guillermo along the edges or anything like that, so... Alright, guy, come with me. We must do a repeat here. Yeah, it's kind of making you play quite a lot of the level again just to get back to where you were, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I should say where that uh, Guillermo is. Uh, yeah, yeah, I figured there might be some sort of different dialogue, maybe. I guess not. I guess not. Next planet, maybe you'll have the Guillermo? Maybe. <laughs> I've been pretty thorough in terms of my looking around, so I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh, there it is, there it is. Let's see, I don't think I'm missing anything. Here we go. Hey, you! Buckaroo! Oh, you're simply for that star, right? I found one of those things at the garbage dump earlier. Now, hold on. There ain't no such thing as free lunch or a free star. Huh? You know, I just love those. How do? How do I like pronounce? Well, <laughs> it's like 
uh, uh, like, <laughs> the, the, yeah, they have the enemy name there and whatnot, and you know, it's the, the, the spiky top man, but the, it, he writes it as, I just love those spiky top man red guys. <laughs> See if you can get one of them to come over here. Okay, so, get out of here, get out of here, get out of my way. Oh! Oh, fine, whatever. Does, doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so we're looking for... Uh, fun guy. And uh, he is somewhere around here. Oh, like you. How about uh, we, we take a little trip over here? Well, first thing, I probably should clear the way just a little bit there. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> makes things a little bit easier for our trek through the doom here. All right, through here. I happened there, did Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe- Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, Maybe we can get away with going through here? Maybe? Oh, yeah! <laughs> maybe I could have did it on the, even on the other side. You know, without having to blast the glass, but eh, that worked. Aw, so cute. Thanks. Great work. Take the star for a job well done. Thank you for... Giving me the spike top man red guy. <laughs> You're welcome. <Woo> <laughs> Alright, there you go. <clears throat> yeah, that, just, it, that one was just written very weird. I had to pick fun at it. <laughs> it's, it's hard to describe how weird it is, actually, if you think about the way that some of this stuff is written by those pictures. Anyway, we're at the bottom of the ship again, which means that there is going to be some sort of new guests of sorts, maybe? Oh! Oh! Might as well go back there, too, but... <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, is that a gear roll? Well, I hope it doesn't try to put everyone to work! Uh, didn't... Well, yeah, he's met a gear roll before, that golden run right below it. Maybe we'll finally want to relax for a change? It looks like it is. It's, it's having a spot of tea over there. And it never seems like you have different dialogue when I, when I decide to check if you have different dialogue after someone is introduced. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Hiya! You sure are helpful back there? Take this one up! Yay! I just love the way those little spiky top men red guys spin. He did it again! <laughs> Can I take those, Goomba guys? I bet you do. If only I would be able to invite some onto the ship, but I don't think our flubber friend will uh, will really enjoy that all that much. But <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go back over here. And there we go. I figured because we were just here, keep it relatively organized-ish, timestamp-wise. Even there's gonna be a space-ish be <laughs> between them, but who was expecting a comet to happen here? Not me. Cosmic clones in the chopper. Remember the trick to the cosmic clones. You must, and I repeat, you must lead them on a way that is not in your way, basically. Ready? Steady! Get started, bits, by the way, <laughs> so you don't have to mess around with them too much. Um... Hmm, let's see here. Where, when is it gonna start, though? Probably. Oh, yep. I was gonna say probably when I get off the safety of that top platform. All right. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than I did the first time, because we got cosmic clones. I'm gonna go around here, kind of stall my time around here, and then just kind of kind of wander along here gently, just waiting for that gold chomp to pop along. There we go. And I, now at this point, I've got to watch out for enemies and stuff, because, uh, yeah, I'm not, not only crossing it with the cosmic clones, but I'm also... Whoa, geez, that's not good. Oh, well, actually, it's that's not that bad, but I was going to say, it's, I'm crossing out the cosmic clones as well as the, uh, the other enemies and stuff like that. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped on this button so early, but... Eh, oh, it worked. <laughs> Victory! I think. Wait, actually, no, 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 wait, wait, I'm getting getting a little ahead of myself here, that's right, it, it goes into that spot. Why did I think it was going to pop out over on the other side? I, I don't know, and I thought I spun there before I ended <laughs> up in that cutscene portion, but... Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, I should have got Starbucks in, but me. But yeah, basically, once you get a chomp over to that one spot, you're good to go. So, so it's like, eh, eh, eh. 
So you just gotta remember basically where you crisscrossed with said cosmic clones, and did I just uh, mess that up? That could, well, I was gonna say it could be a problem, but it might not be, because there's not that long of a line of cosmic clones here. <laughs> I just, just kind of trail along behind them. There we go, and then I'll just... Yeah, I can, I can recover stuff. There we go. Oh, wait, I can't recover that, though. Because that's, uh, yeah. So this is why you gotta be careful with those cosmic clones. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lead them over here for a little bit. And just kind of waste their time so that they build up where they're not gonna be a hindrance. <laughs> this is another way to deal with cosmic clones. And then we start the run again without any sort of interference, in theory. So let's go around, and yeah, I think that'll even clear out the crisscrosses because there isn't anywhere close to as many cosmic clones. Oops, I did it again. I want a, I want a long jump, not backflip. I didn't get enough momentum on the backflip, so I ended up doing a little scooch a dooch and then, yeah. Uh, oop, well, I might be able to save it. Ah! <laughs> not quite. Not quite. I had such a good first run going. <laughs> That's okay, though. If only I would have been more life conservative of that. <laughs> Let's see how things go, though. I just gotta watch out for the crisscrosses, as I said. Okay, we're just gonna do a normal jump. There we go. That's a lot smoother. Okay, and we're gonna waste their time again. <laughs> just wasting their time. Making things easier on myself when I do the final jump to the switch. Yeah! Whoops! Oh! I just ruined this! <laughs> oh man, that was just horrible on my part. <laughs> I just happened to just walk right into them for some odd reason. I have a lapse of judgment ah, from the top. Well, north side of this platform, I, I, if you can call it north. Who knows what the- whoops, that's not- yeah, I'm off the platform too. I thought it was closer to me, actually, but I guess it wasn't. Alright, Golden Chomp, back over here. <laughs> yeah, I see your jump pad- ow. Ow, you know what, I'll just- <laughs> Just wasting time at this point. God, one one good run here. This, this should not be anywhere close to as difficult as I'm making it, because it's just the same thing that I did before, only just a little bit of cosmic clone manipulation thrown in the mix. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here we go. On the platform, and go. Got it? Good. You get out of my way, and everyone stay where you will not hinder me. What? Really? <laughs> I was pretty... I was kind of flying there, too. Like, I wasn't really wasting that much time getting to that spot. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now that there's not a, a Goomba there, I can go over here. There we go. And burn a little time. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're looking, we're looking good this, this round here. It's just a matter of just a little bit more to see the hit. One more switch of D. Whoopsie doodle. Ah! And it just takes a little mix. Maybe it is a bit harder than it was before because I have the aspects of the cosmic clones and I, you know, I have to keep offsetting the timing of things the whole way through. So yeah, maybe this is a, a more worthy challenge than I was thinking. <laughs> That's okay, though. We will eventually get victory. Okay, is it a nice, smooth repeat of that? Uh -huh. Just kind of, just kind of jiggling them along here. And yeah, time to go up. All right, and I'm going over here immediately, getting you out of here, and you get in that freaking hole. <laughs> Ah, it's star miss <laughs> and an official star. Uh, well, I'm nearing like 20 minutes this part, so maybe I should probably end off the part here and whatnot. Well, unless there's some extra dialogue or something like that, because well, uh, if if it is a Daredevil comet at said World Five major boss, that could take me a whole part in on itself. So let's just play it safe. And then not the part here. So I hope you enjoy, 
and I'll see you in the next part when I check out said galaxy of hopefully not death. <laughs> because I don't want to daredevil the boomsday, but I'm pretty sure that is something I had to do.